What's up, guys? Um, driving home from a job, like an hour and a half from my house. Um, I originally was just going to go deliver some trees today for this lady. Uh, we were going to start the job tomorrow. So I came by myself. I had uh, a couple trees in my trailer, so I didn't bring the skid steer. So I got there, and I was like, you know what, I can start on this tree. It's a, a big oak tree, but uh, a lot of open space underneath it. So got my climbing gear, got set up, and uh, it's a, at, right now it's still about 92 degrees outside, so pretty warm today. And uh, so I climbed for a couple hours, got some big stuff out of it, until I ran out of gas. You know, those little 2511s, they don't, <laughs> they don't really hold a whole lot of fuel, but... I made some big smart cuts, I think, so, um, to try to conserve, but, uh, anyway, so, and then I, you know, loaded, hand loaded the trailer, because I'm there, why not go, go ahead and get something in the trailer, but, um, saying all that to say that, uh, I really, I was just driving home thinking about my ground crew, <laughs> it's like, man, they do a great job. Uh, I know sometimes I can be demanding, maybe, uh, or, or, and have these unrealistic expectations, because <clears throat> as the owner, the guy that bids the jobs and does all that, you have this, uh, you have information they don't, right? You know what you bid, you know what needs to happen and when, and how much time you really have on this job to be profitable, um, and so you can that results for me sometimes in having these unrealistic expectations or, or kind of putting some, not demands, but uh, trying to get them to hustle when, when they already really are. They're already doing a really good job. So, uh, If you're somebody who doesn't have an appreciation for your ground crew or thinks something's wrong or something like that, and I'm not saying not a, to address that, but... Uh, head on out and uh, go do a job by yourself and um, you'll have a new appreciation for them <laughs> I'm super excited to be on the job with me tomorrow and I'll have my uh, my 1550 there you know my little mini skid and I'll have somebody spotting for me on the ground to tell me hey you can take this it's not too big or don't don't do that or, I don't know about y'all but I have my ground crew spot for me a lot um, I, I want to maximize what I can take and um, kind of puts them on edge even sometimes but um, I want to use the space and limit my amount of cuts I have to make up there and so I have them spot for me a whole lot on the ground so I really miss that too and you know clearing your line you got to be careful of that so anyway a lot of the things that you take for granted you get up there by yourself and you realize that they're doing a lot more than it can seem like sometimes and so um, thank your ground crew uh, I have a really great crew anyway, and I do tell them that. Um, they hustle hard for me, and they care about the job. And so, anyway, um, yeah, I don't I don't want to go back to when I started just having my truck and trailer and had my climbing gear and a couple saws, but everything was done by hand, and uh, I didn't even know how to drag stuff off a trailer when I started, you know, to put a chain or a rope or a strap underneath all your stuff. <laughs> So we were loading and unloading trailers by hand. Uh, and they weren't very big trailers, but we were still doing it. So um, I'm pretty spoiled now with uh, a good crew. And I got my dump trailers now. And I got my 1550 and good climbing gear, good equipment. So uh, I'm pretty blessed. Anyway, that's. I just wanted to talk about that with somebody. I'm sure you guys have been in that situation before, too. <laughs> Um, anyway, hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, you're on a job. I hope it's going well. I will, uh, I'll try to grab some footage. Let me get off these rumble strips here. I'll try to grab some footage of this tree maybe tomorrow. If I can. And maybe the ones we're planting too. They're really pretty. I got a Schumard oak and a maple that we're putting in the ground. So, anyway, y'all have a great evening. <laughs>